Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back to episode two. So today I am going to head over to that portal, build a base, but first off, I need to find some more buried technology. You can see I have six right now. I don't think I have anything where any or anything anywhere else. Nope, I have six. I can get by with three. I really, really want to have 15. We'll see when I get there why I need 15. So I am going to run around a bit and try to find some more. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to pick up some carbon and maybe scan a few things. Get a little bit of money here. Well, I have made it back. And I'll tell you, I have heard that where the um, buried technology is, if there's less places on the planet where you can go get the buried technology, that those buried technologies will give you more of the salvage data. I can tell you that that is not true. At least on this planet, it is not true. It took me 20 minutes. I think I had six and I'll have 18. And every single one I went to gave me two. So, it didn't work. I also scanned a bunch of creatures. Actually, I found every single creature. So if I come over here to discoveries and click on the fauna and I can hold to register completion and I get 2000 nanites and I should get a little song of, Hey, you discovered every single creature on a single planet. There we go. Journey milestone accomplished. I'm a naturalist. I think that means I like to be naked. So that's interesting. I also picked up a bunch of carbon. I hope I found some more carp copper. Uh, where is the carbon? I got 928. Hopefully that will be enough. I'm going to head that way over to the portal. And of course I'm going to build there. I have never found a portal this early in the game and I have never found a perfect paradise planet this early in the game. So of course I am going to take every advantage I got here. I don't want to put it right next to the portal. What looks good around here? Maybe, oh, up here on this mountain, take out those trees and build up there. Or right over here, it's kind of flat. Or right there. That looks good. Let's go up here, check it out. Kind of overlooks it. That's not bad. So I am going to take that out and I need to place down my portable refiner. I'm going to fuel it with condensed carbon. And where is my copper? Copper, 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 copper. And I am not going to do all of it. I'll just hit C and it split it. I'm just going to wait till it gets up to 30 and pull it out. And I'm going to let the rest of it go because I'm going to need chromatic metal later on. Okay. That's done. Now. Building the base. This is my first base. This doesn't have to be great. All I have to do is put down six base parts. But as soon as I build this, there's going to be, or as soon as I start building, it's going to be a storm. I'm going to go over here, place down the base computer. And then what it's going to do is go tell me to register the land. So I have to come over here, hit E, and it's searching the cartographic archives universal archive search reveals no prior claims to the site sonar test confirmed site is suitable for construction let's claim the base and it always does that and I always look around it looks like up towards the top there might be something base computer archives online this, right after I do this, this is going to kick off the storm. 
So this is going to give me building parts. Accessing log from previous user. Entry 42 or 4925D follows. Storm sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while need to back soon. Extract those plans. See, I got all of those wood parts. So now it says it wants me to construct a base. Construct base as shelter from harsh environments. Expand your base by earning new construction blueprints. Return to your base to store and process items as you explore. So what I like to do is I am going to start building the base and I build around my base computer. Because it's going to want me to come over and interact it with it some more. See, here comes that storm. And I'm going to use floors as the roof if they'll snap into place there. Well, let's try roof as the roof. Roof as the roof works. And a door. And now I can go inside. Well, I had to fly inside because for some reason I can't step over that. And you can see the storm going on. This is one storm. And then there's going to be another storm. And that is going to be the last storm that this planet sees. Let's go interact with this again. Accessing the log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925E follows. Construction largely a success. A success. Recovered salvage data from nearby. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Begin search. Or beginning search. Let's extract those plans. Whoever recorded these logs eventually had some success. I have access to their plans and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. I get a construction research unit. I need magnetized ferrite and carbon nanotubes. And you know what? My uh, portable refiner is portable outside somewhere. But the storm isn't going to be that bad. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And I hate this. I might have to move that door. So to switch over here to the portable devices. We now have all of this. I have a little plant thing. And a light and a flag. We're going to place down the portable refiner again. Do it inside this time. Throw in some more condensed carbon. And I did not get much ferrite dust, did I? Okay, I'm going to use it all. Storm is clearing, and I'm going to go try to find some rocks. Alright, so I went and got some rocks. And I got a few geodes. Let's analyze those. That's going to give me even more ferrite dust. Now, if I wasn't on the Paradise Planet, and if I hadn't found this portal over here, I would definitely be building my base where I was at that minor settlement because if I ran into problems where oh I don't have something I could just run in there to the trade terminal and buy it so got that magnetized ferrite that ferrite dust to pure ferrite to magnetize ferrite and now I need a carbon nanotube and I am just full of stuff gonna put it right over here by the door And there's the second storm. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And I'm going to throw this stuff in there. That's going to take a little bit. Now remember I said all I needed was three, but I wanted 15. Here's where all that comes in. Research buildable technology. Oh, I should probably read this. Uh, analysis unit online. 
diagnostic suggestion. Users should recover salvage data from buried technology equipped and utilize an analysis visor. I already have that. Already done that. That's why I went ahead and did that because I knew this storm was going to be happening. So it wants me to buy this base teleporter. That's two. Need metal plating, carbon nanotubes. I hopefully I'll have enough uh, ferrite dust. It wants me to buy this biofuel reactor. Another metal plating. Hopefully I have enough ferrite dust. And it wants me to buy this electric wiring, which is zero. And it doesn't cost a thing. So that's what you have to have. What I really like to get also is the battery, which that takes condensed carbon, which I can make that. And I like the solar panels, which it has. I have gold because I got that when I was shooting the asteroids. That's why I was kind of holding on to it. And I need metal plating. Hopefully I have enough of the ferrite dust. And I like to get the save beacon. And since I have three left, I guess I'll go ahead and get the signal booster. I have two and the C up there. I can hit A and D and scan through. Here are more building parts. So I already have... Ooh. Rectangular door. Timber ramp. I'm going to get that. I think I can use that. And I spin it all. Let's get this. Throw it back in there. And let that go. And the storm's still going on. Open inventory. Um, your base can be renamed. So now it wants me to go back over here. And the storm's clearing. And I am going to call this first Base portal. And I'll capture a screenshot too. Okay. Leave. Ooh, hold on. I'm going to upload it too. Base uploading to servers. So now I need to craft four metal plating. Ooh, okay, good. Three, four. And I need two carbon nanotubes. And construct the base teleporter. And it won't get me out of here. I'm going to try something. That ramp going to help. And I put it right there. Look at that. I got a ramp. I need one on the other side, too. So, the teleporter. I'll put it outside here. I mean, it's gonna... Like, want me to be standing a little bit further back. Because it's gonna say it's too close. Ugh. Yeah, this is a pain in the butt. There's a spot right there. Boom. Base teleporter complete. Now I need to power the base. And it wants me to construct a biofuel reactor. This is the only time I'm going to use that biofuel reactor. I need a metal plating. I knew that. Biofuel reactor done. And now it wants me to wire it up. So go to the wiring and just stick it to the little things. Now it wants me to power it. And it can take any of this stuff. But you see there it says WS to change the stack size and our C to split it. C splits it in half. So I'm just going to go down and I'm going to get it down to five. Boom. Now, 
I'm going to come up here. And what do I need for that? I need a metal plating. I'm going to put one of these right there. And I am going to make a battery, hopefully. Condensed carbon. Okay. I'm going to make a battery in just a little bit. And that is going to give me 18 nanites in 10 seconds. But it says my base computer archives are back online. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925F follows. Scanner detected unusual podcast repeating 16 from the space station. Warning. End of archive. Records interrupted. Uh-oh. The base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. All right, let's go check that out. So this should be done. I'm going to take those. I'm going to put some carbon in there and split it down. I'm going to try that. Seven seconds. I can wait for that. Done. And let's see if that's going to give me enough for the battery. It does. I'm going to go back on the... Oh, I need another set of... I need a ramp inside. And I'm going to just stick this up here. So now do the wiring. Stick it to there. To there. And then from there. All the way to there. And now... See, I can't do anything with it. Oh. Oh. There, oh, look at that. Somebody has built a base here. Can someone remember? Somebody else discovered this system. So it's picking up that base and it wants, and I can, well, let me go there. I'm not going to do that yet. It wants me to go to the, ooh. It wants me to go to the space station. I am going to go there. <laughs> I'm going to explore. I'm going to go off the path. I just wanted to do that. See, it's uh, making a save point. So, oh, hold on. I'm going to do something else here. What do I need? I can make this. I need two metal plating. I need two metal plating. All right gonna do a manual save this is different than the auto save this one is kind of a backup just in case there's something at this base that's gonna kill me hopefully that's not gonna happen so let's go and my ship will follow me let's see if this is gonna work it says it's downloading it might not even work it might have gone all through all this and it's not even gonna work doesn't look like it's gonna work Okay, maybe it wants me to go to the space station. Let's do that. I am going to fly around the planet a little bit. Go check out some stuff. See if I see anything that's interesting. And I have the HUD up there. I'm headed north right now. I always choose to always go in one certain direction. And then I have chosen south. And that's on any planet I go to, I always go south. And that is because I used to just choose, oh, on this planet I'll go north, this planet I'll go south. And then I would get so distracted and forget which way I was going and backtrack. So I chose to always go south. And we don't have east and west, so those are a little bit harder to find. i just do a few scans. Look at this pretty planet. I mean, I can just stay here. I don't need to go to other systems. I can just set up a base, not leave, just hang out, build a little fire, roast some marshmallows.
Ooh, it's a hollow terminus. We're going to be going there quite a bit later on. And I'm going to get sick of them. So I'm not going to go there right now. So that is a... Oh, that's an abandoned building. We're going to be going to one of those pretty soon. And there's not a whole lot there that that's going to offer me right now, but death. Ooh, look at, ooh, look at that. A crash freighter and another minor settlement. And you know, I made a video on how to find crash ships early game. And I'll say it took me 15, 20 minutes and I found three crash ships. I found the, let's see what kind of multi-tool this is. It is a C class, but it has a ton of space. And it's one and a half million units. But I found like three transmission towers. I found three nice ships. One of them I think was worth like 30 million units. And it took me no time at all. And now I can't find a one. It's, it's disheartening. Ooh, look at that. It gave me an S mining beam. This little, this little thing right here just gave me an S mining beam upgrade and see I only have six slots in this multi-tool I am not going to use it because I want to upgrade my multi-tool that'll be one of the first things I can do or I will do got some more C2 salvage data and since I'm on a paradise planet I am going to fill that in and that's just, I uh, click on the little middle mouse button. And just because this is a pretty planet and I don't want to mess it up. I do, I don't think I'm going to go over here. It can stay. I will look around some more. I guess the No Man's Sky gods, they gave me a paradise planet. They showed me a portal. And, but they are not going to give me any crash ships. And there's another hollow terminus. Oh, I was getting ready to head up into space. I was getting ready to say over this next mountain and I am done. And I found a transmission tower. Woohoo. Let's get this stuff first and is it going to be two the planet of twos and put all that back in there make it all look pretty and hopefully the grass will grow back damage machinery I don't want the viscous fluids oh Look at that, another S upgrade. So we're gonna go inside here and find a crash ship. Hopefully it'll be a one that it's gonna... I could get a million and a half units. I could get that C-class multi-tool. So if I crack the encryption and the other... I didn't read the other one, but yeah, I need to and crack this encryption pattern to find the coordinates. So it is one, two, six, twenty-four. 120 and that's going to be 720. The first one's always 720. The next one's going to be 353, I think. So it does this and it sends us straight up and we look around and I don't really see anything. There's a big cloud in the way. One thing if you, I think the first three transmission towers you find, I've started the game over many many times and it seems like every time the first three is are, will show me the crash ship the fourth and fifth one where is my ship there it is the fourth and fifth one will show me crash freighters and then that's going to start doing crash ships again seems like there's a pattern So let's see how far away this is. 
There's another building. That is a... I can't think of the name of it. I've kind of quit going to those things. It's an observatory. Observatory, that's exactly what it is. And that's something. I think that's a construction something. Not a construction terminal. Manufacturing facility. So I'm going to go up into space and over because it's like 20 minutes. And if I go up and do a little pulse and I can come back down right where that crash ship is. And again, I didn't see any water. I don't think there's any water on this planet. That is a little bit unfortunate, but it's still a paradise planet and there's never going to be another storm. And I have not seen a single sentinel on this planet. So this thing is just amazing all around. I was stopping because I thought I saw there was something down in there, but there was not. And there's the crash ship. It looks like it is a shuttle. Hopefully it'll give me about a million units or so. Let's see. Three million units is what it's worth. It is a B class. It has 26 slots and it has eight in technology. 26 and 8, and I am at 15 and 4. Way larger. That is a bit ugly. It handles like a beast. Gonna throw those away. Hey, can I have another C upgrade? I cannot. I can have nanites. And this is going to give me a teleport receiver for my ship. So I clamber into the cargo ship and find its black box. As soon as I touch it, a holographic image of a panic reptilian trader appears. Perhaps it is a message from their, or for their superior, perhaps a loved one. It's impossible to tell as the playback is hauntingly silent. In its vital moments, the trader see, seems to point at some freshly installed ship tech before dropping to its knees in despair. So let's inspect that, and it's going to give us, give it to us. I discover the poorly installed tech that caused the crash. I scan its blueprints, and now construct it myself. You know, this caused his ship to crash, and now I'm gonna install it in mine. Seems a bit sketchy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So just come over here and talk to the ship. Compare it. Look at all that space. I'm not gonna keep it. I'm gonna sell the ship. So, but I will claim it. And I see, if we come over here, the pulse engine needs to be fixed. Just like um, before. I think it needs, what does it need? Need a metal plating and a hermetic seal, and I can't make them. Ugh, and I can't make that either. Ugh. <sighs> okay, I am going to run around and mine some stuff, and then I'm gonna have to build another freaking portable refiner because I left it over at my base. I should have picked it up. All right. Well, I am back after getting all those rocks, so I need to. Ooh. Need to make two metal plating. And one is going to be for a portable refiner. And I guess I'm going to keep this one with me. And then leave the other one at the base. Um, going to do that. And I need some more condensed carbon. 21 seconds, that's not too bad. And over here to Starship. Let's put in that metal plating. And what do I need? All I need is the condensed carbon. All I need is 30. And I'm there. Let's go ahead and let this finish, I guess. And make a hermetic seal. Boom. That ship is now flyable, so I can take that up to the space station and sell it. 
But I am going to hop in this ship real quick. And I have to hop in this one again to make it my primary ship. So now I can transfer stuff. Since I am going to go sell that ship, I want to have two spots here. Or two lines of stuff. Oh, I could have just done that. That I can... Well, I want two of those things, so... I don't want to get rid of the poop. Mordite. No, Mordite is a death element or something. Sometimes... The... Plants will have that stuff. Gonna throw the copper in there. Gonna throw the star bulb in there. Gonna throw the Corvax casing in there. Gonna throw that over. And that over. I want to sell that when I get up there. Okay, I got two rows. I'm gonna hop back out. And. Ooh. Hold on. There we go. I forgot I had to pick this thing up. Now I'm gonna fly this ship to the space station. And I'll sell it. And after I do that, that ship will appear up there for me. So, hop in here. And let's go. And this thing is noticeably different already in its maneuverability. So, oof. There's the space station. You can see that's my base. So just pulse over to it. And now I don't have any shields. And sometimes pirates can come after me. So I am hoping they don't do that. Now when you come to the space station, sometimes you might be on the other side. Look for the little blue thing here. That's where you go in. Don't run into the side of the space station. Not saying I've ever done that. I'm just saying don't run into the side of the space station. And we get the music of accomplishment. So while that's going on, what it wants me to do is talk to some of these NPCs over here. Just gonna walk around and take a look at them. Okay, hey guy. Director Ramiri. Friend Gek is all I understand. The alien squeals as I approach. They seem excited to see me. Though I can't under understand their babbling tongue, perhaps they would recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. Let's ask about 16. A look of surprise crosses the life form's face, and they, realize, and they release a strange smelling gas. This appears to signal our conversation is over. Yes. When you fart in my face, our conversation is over. See ya. What about you, uh, big ears? And four eyes? Maybe, friend, you? Maybe. Don't fart in my face. The alien looks at me expectantly. They are, they are clearing, waiting for something. I think that should be clearly waiting for something. Perhaps they know... The one that came before me. Let's ask about other travelers. Startled by my question, the life form emits a dramatic squeal. Though I do not recognize their words, the shake in their head is unmistakable. All right, let's try you. Entity Ravorshu. I don't understand a single word. The metallic being chatters away, pouring forth their words in a language I cannot understand. But when I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. 
16. We are watching you, traveler friend, find what we have left you. To the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly into my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps the base computer would be able to make something of this code. Okay. Alright. Visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship and equipment. Visit the Tarkographer for directions to outposts and other buildings. Take missions from the mission agent to earn valuable rewards. Use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. All right, so I want to sell my ship. Hey, there's another ship that landed. And I want to explore this a little bit more, but I think I am going to end this here. So the next episode, I will sell my ship. I will explore this space station. Then we're gonna maybe head back to the base, maybe go to another planet and explore it. So I will see you next time and have a good day.